Yo, what's going on, y'all boys? I know y'all not used to me doing this before a video, but I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my girlfriend. She just released a book not too long ago called Behind Closed Hearts. This is a novel discussing the generational curses and trauma that we face in this world today. This book is based on four characters who are all experienced changes in life. It also depicts on how, as a culture, we suppress traumatic experiences, which then creates generational chaos because of repeated cycles. Me reading this book, I honestly could vividly see myself like just in the book like and that's where when reading books you really cannot imagine or see yourself in the particular situation or you just behind the scenes or whatever it is like you know what i'm saying i also highly highly recommend this book to a lot of my melanated brothers and sisters out there when i tell y'all this book is crazy i don't know about y'all but me personally i love to read and actually feel like that i'm in the book and i can promise y'all with reading this i have also told her this the beginning to the end of the book i can honestly feel the emotions from every character every character i can honestly just imagine me there like i don't know how to explain it but y'all understand what i'm saying like this book is amazing honestly this book needs to get out to everyone you know what i'm saying like she's crazy talented i need to shut up for real because i feel like i'm actually probably spoiling it for y'all you know what i'm saying but i don't want to do that so if you want to show some love man all you have to do is click the first link down below in the description it's also going to be the first link pinned in the comments you're going to click that link it's going to take you to a website where you will be able to purchase behind closed hearts let's sell it out right now i need everybody to stop what you're doing go and purchase the book and sell it out i want i want break the button break the internet break the website you know what i'm saying y'all make that move man let's get it behind closed hearts we love ski what's going on y'all boys man y'all already know what time it is man we back again with another reaction ski and today we have a pretty crazy when i say crazy disgusting crazy bro video but before we get into anything man i'm gonna need y'all boys to go crazy on that like button man it will literally take five seconds out of your day and also man come join the boy on twitch the boy just became an affiliate, man. It's going to be the first link pinned in the comments. It's also going to be the first link in the description, man. Now, all you got to do is just come and drop a follow. You know, if you if you want to show some love, man, come drop a sub. But the boy just became an affiliate with Twitch now. Y'all boys want to watch me live, uncut, man. We do all the reactions live. We're not faking nothing. We getting to it. Y'all boys want to come show some love, man. Just click that first link down in the description and first link pinned in the comments, man. We on it. But look, hey, today's video, like I said, is crazy, bro. Read, I'm gonna read the title for y'all. Man who had relationships with his sister, her after she cheated on him. I can't say certain words because you know how YouTube is, man. Her brother, it literally, what y'all watch, this is real. This just happened like last week or something, like two, like two weeks or something ago. This just happened, bro. This stuff is real. And I don't want to give too much input in because we got to watch this raw. And I know I have a lot to say. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know y'all honest thoughts just off the title. How do y'all feel about this situation? It's wild, it's weird, it's confused. I know, I feel exactly how y'all feeling. But y'all let me know down below, man. Also, make sure if y'all enjoyed this video, man, y'all smash that like button, comment, and also subscribe for your boy. But remember, if you subscribe, you have to turn on notifications to get notified when your boy posts another banger ski. And let's get to it, man. To watch what this under what this disgusting man got to say. Let's get it. Yeah. So like I said, bro, the title of this video is Man Who Had Relationship With His Sister In Her After She Cheated On Him. You know, I can't say certain words because YouTube loves to take people videos off the market. You know, they love to, they love to RIP my channel. On the 3rd of February 2022, Jose Gunsman made chilling comments during a police interview. He had been handed himself in a what he had been handed himself in. Okay, I guess he handed himself in after being on a run for the murder of his girlfriend, Carla Chavez D. Ortiz. The only thing was though, Jose and Carla was biological siblings. So I'ma hold this. He didn't know they was biological. I'ma pray. If he did, man, just imagine, bro. So there's a story that's recently surfaced coming out of Texas involving two siblings a brother and the 
sister. The investigation is currently ongoing, with the incident itself only taking place some days ago on the 2nd of February 2022, and for that reason we don't have too many details surrounding the case. Believe it or not, the victim in this case has only just been named over the past couple of days, and her image has still not been in the media as of yet. Sometime prior to the 2nd of February 2022, Guatemalan native Jose Manuel Guzman Y'all know I like to look and analyze people, bro. He looks like a, he does look like a killer. He, he looked like a killer for sure. But I couldn't imagine him. If I see him on the street with the girl, I wouldn't imagine that this dude would have been from, I was going to say Alabama, but I'm not going to disrespect them like that. Would have been dating his sister, his in-law, whatever it is. It's disgusting. And y'all know every time I do a reaction video, I can't even say something happened in Alabama. Y'all know something happened in Atlanta. This gotta, I bet y'all this happened in Atlanta. Everything happens in Atlanta, bro, like at this point. But he doesn't look like somebody who would have who would have done something like that. He would look like he looked like a crazy person, but not somebody who would be messing with his sister. But I mean, hey, you gotta expect the unexpected, bro. Discovered that he had a long lost sister, Carla Chavez de Ortiz. Now we don't know why these two didn't know of each other, but it's thought that they shared the same mother and different fathers. Got an owl on his neck. The thing that I can see personally being the case is that Jose had settled in the United States since the age of three, and with Carla being born in Guatemala, he probably didn't keep up with his mum's side of the family, but when he decided to contact them, he discovered that he had a sister. Again, that is just speculation though. Either way, when Carla and Jose so he moved to America at three years old and I'm guessing he really didn't have a relationship with his family. Uh, but I still want to know, like, I need a backstory or something like they need to get her. Dang, she's passed, but they need to get somebody else side of the story to see, like, why did she come out to America? Why did she stay with him? Like, because I could I, I, I couldn't have seen him talking through the phone and then it's just a lot of factors. You know what I'm saying? They decided to meet up with each other. In Jose's own words, they fell in love with each other. Wow. So ladies and gentlemen, this was a biological brother and sister who they say fell in love with each other. Anyway, the two moved in with each other and started a sexual relationship. Jose was said to have become very possessive of his sister, but that's all we know in regards to a backstory. And that Bro. Not only did you have a relationship with your sister, you took her life. <laughs> That's two L's. I don't even really know how to give input on this entire situation because it's just so confusing. You know, but let's see why he, he killed her. I'm not the only update that we have is the news that has recently emerged. On the 1st of February 2022, Jose got into an argument with Carla. Again, the details surrounding the argument are yet to be discovered. However, we do know that he punched her in the mouth and broke a tooth. The following day, Jose would go on to tell detectives he was sleeping when all of a sudden he had a feeling that someone was in the house. Bro, so you abusive at that. Like, I L's all around, bro. sleeping when all of a sudden he had a feeling that someone was in the house he quickly learned that his sister had sex with a male friend while he was asleep he went on to say is this serious bro oh, oh is i'm dream is i'm dreaming you asleep and your sister was getting clapped by somebody that she should have been getting clapped by. Her friend, her male friend. I don't even think it had to be a situation like that. I feel like it was on a situation of like, she probably had a conversation with him like, look, this is nasty. I want a real relationship with somebody. I'm not gonna keep doing this stuff with you, bro. And that's crazy because she probably really said bro, because that's her brother. And he knew what she was doing and felt some type of way and decided to take her life. She was doing what she was supposed to do. So I can't even say she cheated. I can't. I can't say she cheated, bro. Because this was something that she was supposed to do. She was doing the right thing, I feel like. 
I don't know. I don't. I personally don't know what their relationship was. Was it something serious or what was the family? Did the family know? That she admitted this to him, which prompted him to hit her in the head with a quote massage instrument on the forehead and multiple times with a baseball bat. Wow. Jose decided to call his mother rather than the emergency services, to which he told her people had been in the house. Carla was now unresponsive. It's then thought that Jose had attempted to clean up the crime scene after performing CPR on Carla, but his mother had called emergency services, and when they arrived at the scene, he fled. When deputies entered the property, they found the baseball bat, massage, and clothing in a laundry basket, as well as a backpack that had a Pringles can containing packs of cocaine. Wow. So police were now on the hunt for Jose, and initially he didn't answer calls from his mum, as he knew she was in contact with police, but eventually he picked up and said that he was going to hand himself in the following day. On the 3rd of February, he did exactly that, and in a three hour interview with police, he admitted to killing his sister under the specific circumstances that I gave you today, but said he didn't mean to kill her. He also admitted to smoking drugs, and that's why they were discovered at the property. Dude had been under some type of drugs because there's no way that he thought with this title, man confesses to having sexual relationship with sister and killing her with a baseball bat. All because she was doing what she was supposed to do as a human being and living a normal life. She was supposed to be seeing other guys and being with somebody who's not blood. Because I know y'all seen an incest fan. I know y'all have seen them before. Am I tripping? I know y'all seen how them kids turned out. Just imagine if she was to have a kid by her brother. And personally, I feel like, you know, dude was possessive. This could have been a one-time thing they did and he was like, nah, this is forever. Bro, how sick in the head do you gotta be, bro? Brother, he, got already, he already looks sick in the head by just the, the owl tattoo on his neck. But bro, you killed her, bro, to death. You, you with a base, bro, come on now. He was then charged with murder. And at a recent court hearing, his bond was set at one million. His defense argued that and now he got a bond too, bro. Oh, wow. It was unreasonable, oppressive, and unconstitutional for the bond to be set so high, as he was a hardworking man working in landscaping. However, the prosecution argued what they gotta do with anything, bro. Who cares? You doing, bro? You just, bro, yo, bro. I don't even have to say nothing, bro. That even though he had settled in the U.S. since the age of three was still a flight risk having links across the border. The prosecution also brought up the fact that he'd been caught up in several other cases that have yet been resolved. In 2017, he had a case where he allegedly broke a man's arm with a baseball bat and smashed his car windows. In that same year, he also had other family violence cases and drug possession cases. So this man is just, is, is he just, he just using the baseball bat on everybody, bro. Like honestly, the baseball bat on that, that must be his his thing. His 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 niche is getting the baseball bat, bro. This is sad, bro. It's weird at that. Man. Really a baseball bat, bro? In 2018, he was up for trial. Seven offenses. He didn't appear in court. So later he was released on bond until a further hearing. So on those grounds, the judge denied lowering the bond. Of course, this case is still ongoing, but I wanted to bring it to you guys because so far the story has had so many twists and turns. For one, it's pretty rare that two siblings would end up in a sexual relationship and claim to love each other. But for them, one of the siblings to allegedly go on to murder the other for cheating on them, I don't think I've ever heard that in my life. Never. Yes, there's a first for everything. I ain't never heard that in my life. Give the video a like for more crime related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you haven't, it's been me, a poncho, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey man, y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this situation, bro. Like I said, this whole situation completely is the L to me. Like the whole, the title, the whole, them going about from just meeting them. All around this situation is weird and I can't really give my input in on it like I really want to. I can't say who's right, who's wrong because the whole situation is weird. Like it, it is, it's weird completely. So I can't really say who's right or wrong but I can say one thing, he's wrong for taking a life of somebody who's not yours, who can never be yours, bro, that's your sister. I have heard of 
you know, people doing stuff with their sisters and getting caught or like just nasty stuff. I have heard of nasty stuff. Like y'all know the jokes, Alabama, in, I have heard of plenty of incest situations. But I have never, like the guy said, it's a first for everything, but I have never heard about somebody taking the life of their sibling because they chose to do something that they were supposed to do. But honestly, her doing it while he there while he was sleeping, I'm not gonna say it's not wrong or it's not right or it's right or wrong, but you don't know what could have happened. She could have, she, he, she could have been told him like, look, I'm talking to somebody. I wanna live my life like a normal person and not my, with my brother. Like what? And brought a guy over, they did what they did and he got jealous and decided to, and they got to argue he was already abusive. He already hit her in the nose once. So he just decided to take her life. This situation is just ultimately weird. Like y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below in this entire situation, you know, and hopefully do go up under the jail, bro, but you're sick. Like dude is sick. And I, I mean, depending on where, where, where he at, I'm surprised he even got a bond. Unless he claiming temporary insanity, but I don't know. Like this whole situation real, like I told y'all, man. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below. If y'all enjoyed this reaction video, man, make sure to smash the like button, comment, and also subscribe for your boy. And we out. Ski